I don't really know how to start this off. But, hi guys. <laughs> so, I first want a disclaimer that my hair... I know this is like a bad way to start a YouTube video. Especially for my first ever video. Um, for this channel anyway, because I used to have an old one. Well, I still use it for like my subscriptions and stuff, and like, but... I don't want to talk about those videos. Anyway, um, my hair is a bit crazy because I'm growing it out, so that's a disclaimer there, right there, so you guys don't like go, what the hell is wrong with your hair? It's just a disclaimer right there. But I really, really wanted to do a mental health journey YouTube channel because... I feel like so many people are struggling, like I was for so long and watching YouTubers talk about it and just express how they're feeling and make me feel like I'm not alone really really helped me get out of my dark places, especially Shane Dawson, like even if he didn't do videos based on mental health, I know he deals with a lot of mental health, but his videos just lighten my mood a lot. I'm sorry to be rambling so much, but I just wanted to explain. This is a mental health journey. Um, oh, I just really wanted a place to express and help others going through it. And maybe once I'm more recovered, I could change my channel up a bit. I could do anything, really. I, I've got so many different things I like. I like to sing. I like, well, I love music in general. Um, I'm a vegan so I could easily do like vegan meals and stuff like that like I don't want to be like one of those vegans who just do vegan videos like I want to reach out to more than just vegan people um, and also I'm part of the LGBTQ plus so could always do videos about that as well but yeah I hope that wasn't too rambly of an intro but I thought I would actually just sit down and go through um, common questions about mental health and like, you know, like clear the surface a bit and maybe explain what I'm dealing with and not into depth because I don't feel like I'm ready to share all of that online right now. But yeah, I feel like there's quite a few things I could openly talk about and answer some questions you guys might be thinking about mental health because it is such a taboo subject and I really really hate that it is but yeah um, anyway I'm actually just going to quickly um, put on some face stuff because <laughs> um, self care you know um, just recently I've been doing it just to be self caring you know to myself I guess <laughs> that's what self care means but yeah, I hope that wasn't an awkward or a long intro, too long. I'll probably edit some of this down a bit, because I ramble. Hey guys, so I'm back, but I had to resort to my phone because I've actually lost my camera charger and it literally just died on me and I want to cry. But I will definitely get on looking for that. But I actually wrote down just six common questions that are not too deep um, but are very very common for people who don't really struggle with mental illness and I thought that would help some of you guys and I'll just be a nice starter for this channel so what to do if someone has symptoms so if your loved one or friend or even someone that you don't really talk to you notice symptoms like withdrawal to like I don't know like social norms like you know what I mean like not socializing not going out, you know, not just not being themselves. You should definitely, like if you're in school or in work, definitely tell someone like a teacher or a work colleague or your boss, you know? Anyone that you feel could help you help them. Um, but obviously you can only do so much um, you can never force anyone to get help themselves, like they need to help themselves, like literally. The next question is, what causes it? Now there are so, so many answers to 
like all different mental illnesses that it's really hard to pinpoint one reason because it can be from so many things like genetics traumas or maybe like just like it's really hard to explain but like sometimes even people with such perfect lives can even develop these things and sometimes we don't even know why and that's just the reality of mental illnesses really and it's, it is really sad. Can you recover? I believe so. I mean I'm in recovery um, now and I believe that if we are strong enough and we have the right support we can get through anything like we're strong we've dealt with it for so long like obviously we're strong enough to overcome it if we've dealt with it for so long on our own um so yeah it is something i believe that you can recover from and something that you can overcome if you have the right support and the right mentality i guess like everyone has the power to but sometimes mental illnesses can do that to you and just drain you out of anything you once was and anything you really believe in so if you believed in getting better you might not anymore which i didn't for a long long time what can it affect it can affect your day-to-day -day life like it is so horrific how much of your life it can really take up like i have wasted so many years dwelling on the past and trying to fix things that i couldn't fix that were out of my power and out of my you know uh, unhumanly possible to even fix on my own you know and it's just things like that that we wish we could fix but it's just it's not the case and it literally just affects everything it affects your grades it affects your working abilities it affects your sleep it affects your eating it affects everything like I've missed so many days of school because of it and it was a real, real struggle. How common are they? Mental illnesses are getting very, very common considering um, how many people are like now being bullied on social media. Like social media is not putting the best for mental health anymore. Like it's not exactly helping it because it makes people more unsociable. And sometimes these models on Instagram and stuff can really put a bad influence on people and not just females males too can also develop body issues and self-confidence and everything male and female can go through exactly the same thing but one in four in the uk have been known to struggle with any mental illness during their life and the last question is how to support someone which can kind of link into number one which is about the symptom thing but how to support someone is pretty much try and encourage them to get help as much as much as you can like as humanly possible because as i said you cannot force anyone to do something they do not want to do but try and make them see brighter days <laughs> if that makes any sense that was probably really cringy but it is really true try and be the light in their life that they need like obviously i'm not saying they have to rely on you 24 7 because as much as mental illnesses are a bad bad struggle like a really hard one you cannot rely on someone 24 7 to be fixing you and picking you back up and i get that but sometimes being the light in someone's life even just texting them saying hey how are you today like showing that you're there for them it's a start and little things like that can really affect someone's mood you never really think about it but it does and yeah just try and help as much as possible and just let them know that you're there for them and you love them very very much and you'll do anything for them and obviously if it gets to a very serious state then i'm pretty sure um this is like for really more serious things like inpatient things will be willing to help you um so yeah um if it is very serious please don't take the advice i said before please contact someone immediately um because I, I know you can't force people to get better but if they're really really struggling and they really can't find hope and it leads to bad things then they are in need of more than just their own like push you know to get help they're gonna need more people to help them push them just to 
that one bit more to um, start recovering. Um, so this is going to be the end of my little video. I'm sorry it's like really all over the place already. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm like saying um and too much and stuff, but I am pretty nervous because this is going to literally be on YouTube and everyone can see it. And I, I'm i kind of more confident about putting this on YouTube because I don't go to school anymore, because I do online schooling because of my own mental health struggles. Um, but I am very, very scared for um, anything that might happen. And I'm scared that people are going to find it, but I want to do this to make mental illnesses not such a taboo subject and to make people feel less alone be like I did because it's the worst feeling in the world you just feel so like lost and empty and I just I don't want people feeling that way but if you would like to join me on my mental health journey then please subscribe and put the bell turn the bell notification on to see whenever I upload my next video and yeah i just I, I give this video a thumbs up as well if you would like to see more of um mental health videos or maybe comment down below if you want any different videos um it could be anything i really really don't mind i enjoy doing any types of videos but i just really did want to talk about mental health because it's helping me a lot as much as you guys too i, I hope so anyway um but yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed making this video. It felt good to just sit down and pour my heart out a bit. I mean, I didn't really pour my heart out, but I mean, answering questions was really nice. So, um, I feel like my next video could be a little pouring out session. Because maybe a lot of people have gone through what I've gone through, so it will be really nice to open up and help others too. So, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all stay safe and stay try to be the happiest you can because remember you only live once it's a tough tough life i get that but i'm always here if you need anything or anyone thank you guys for watching bye a long